Hello everyone, this is Christy. Today I'm going to share with you the um, loaded envelope that I made. It's for a swap and I'm going to share with you how I um, made this one, the loaded envelope, and also what I put in there, okay? For this one, I used these um, paper bags. I bought this one at a 99 cent store and it comes like 20 and it's white and it's very very thin the paper is like this kind okay thin and i just cut them in three sizes okay the first one i cut at nine inches this is five inches but um you put in the cutter and the cut at nine the second one i cut at 6.5 uh, six and a half Okay, and the last one I cut at five. Now, how I put this one together is that you just fold this one down, this part down, okay, in all of them, okay? You just fold this part down and you will have a lot of room for your goodies, okay? This one doesn't have too many goodies because I wanted to show you like that. I'm gonna put some more. And uh, once you have them all like this, if you want to decorate the border that I'm going to show you, you can grab this one, your paper, and put your die on top and cut it out, okay, or this border. And this is so thin that um, any die can cut this, all of this plus your pattern paper okay and you can make a nice border so and even for the last one i put paper here put in paper here and here and it cut all of them at once okay so i'm gonna show you now how mine looks like for this one i decorated with this um beautiful doll and i sat her on this bench all of these are dice okay and i decorated with these flowers and i put these embellishments uh, most of the stuff is from Ali and then I bought one package of uh, small seashells at Michael's and it had very very tiny ones and mediums and I tried to put a lot of them in in this project then this one I bought from Ali as well okay and I decorated up here at the bottom then as you can see right here the swirls that I have those are vines and and it's a die that I just put behind. Then right here, I'm gonna take this one. Um, this one is a pinwheel. And the brown thing that you see is um, the wheel from the ships. And then this one is a button that I had in my stash that was a gift from my friend Ramona. And I just put this acrylic embellishment on top. And I use another die for this doily that is at the back. And I just cover with another small one. See? So that's how it looks. And I will put the links of all the dies and embellishments that I'm using uh, from Ali. So you can, if you want to check it out, um, you will see them in the description box. Okay? So right here, I put a banner that was a die too. And I just cut the pieces and put this um, string. And I got this string at Michael's in the floral department, okay? So I had a lot of them and I used it in this one because I think it goes with the beach. Uh, right here, I use it for this banner. And then right here, as you can see, um, the edge, I use another die for the edge right here. And I really like how it looks because it's kind of like wavy. And also right here is the same, the same die. Then as you can see right here, I made this one using um, die for this big um, piece. Okay, this die and a uh, big doily, right? And then um, I just made a um, regular rosette right here using a paper that had this um, decoration for the C. And then I just cut a circle of this beautiful paper that looks like wood. 
and then I just <laughs> tie this one all around a circle and this is a, a small die uh, of an anchor and I use hot glue to um, glue this chain all around okay and this anchor and this uh, wheel comes in the same set okay those are a part of a set of dies then right here i glue the paper straw but i use the same string to tie around and then make this bow okay so that's how it looks then right here um, as you can see, it has this cloth pin and I make a chunky charm. I'm going to show you in a minute. But as you can see right here is the same decoration of the border, okay? And I like this one because I can put more goodies um, and uh, it opens, okay? I'm going to show you it opens and, and it can stand, okay? Like this. Um, I'm going to... It will look uh, nice if she uh, leaves it stand. So at the back, I this is the picture of the paper that I use. And this is one single sheet of paper that you can find at Joanne's. And I just put this string right here. Okay. So in, in this one at the bottom. So this is how it looks. Okay. And then I'm going to show you the chunky charm before I go to the that one and for the chunky charm i use this cloth pin that it was um silver with glitter right here but right here looks like this okay it's like a very shiny silver and then i just put one of the flowers that i use for the same decoration on everything and this beautiful charm that i love it is acrylic <laughs> embellishment and for this chunky charm uh, what I did is I just grabbed a piece of um, this string, okay, a large piece, and then I started like making knots, okay, make knots, and then another one, and another one, okay, like this, okay, and I have many knots in there, right, so then I hung um, the charms with uh, small pieces of um, chain in there so it can fall like this okay and at the end I just grab one of these uh, bottles and I tie it and I finish the knots in there and I put a lot of the small shells that I had that were left over from the baggie they are very very uh, cute because there are so different kinds of shells so it looks so so beautiful <laughs> to just look at it <laughs> okay now for the charms that i put i have um this one which is a star and this one comes in a set okay just a star and this um shell with the pearl and then comes with this one this another shell and this um other one with another barrel it comes in a set and i bought it at michael's and then i added these uh little embellishments that i had in my stash okay and just to add more decoration and this little flip-flop that i had in my stash as well okay and with a cloth pin i just grab it in here because she can use this one for a to put it in another place i don't know and then i just grab this one the cloth pin and hang it right here okay so it can look nice um to decorate this uh, loaded envelope see so now i'm gonna show you um, what else i made and for some goodies i use the same flower to decorate um baggies for example right here Okay, I'm sending this one, then right here. And this one is a die that I bought from Alina's Crafts. And I really like how it looks, okay? So I use that for most of the stuff that I put. As you can see right here. And for example, right here, I just added to the top of the stamp. And 
Also, I made this envelope with another paper that I have in my stash. And in this envelope, I'm going to um, fill it with um, some more goodies, okay? So I can put it in there. So I really like um, this paper. So those are some stuff that um, I just wanted to show you. And this is how my um, loaded envelope looks like. I also made this card. And I had this holographic paper in my stash. It was from a package. And I used a die to cut up here. And I just fill it with some sequins and some little tiny shells. And this one that looks like sand is um, sea salt. Okay, I just put it up, up there just to give the illusion that it's sand. And um, this is another dye that I have my stash, and this is the same flower. And I put some shells on, in the outside as well. Thank you very much for watching my videos, for your likes, your comments, and for subscribing to my channel. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye-bye.